Hi, Andrea. Hi. Here we have your demonstration of a single Gobius Pro on a small tank. Can you walk us through how the sensor unit calibrates itself and how the signal to the Gobius fish works? Yes, Brad, this is our trade show flyer and I will elaborate on that if I may. I'm sure the audience are all ears, as am I. Shoot. First, I want to stress that the tank sensor has to be calibrated in one of the two states of empty or full tank. I will explain more later. I have the app on my smartphone, so how do I see the sensor output? Okay, so Brad, let's bring the screen share up so the viewer can see what's on your smartphone. Click the app and then open it on your smartphone, which you have done. Uh, when you see the start screen, click start, then click run guide, then it will guide you through preparation. Uh, when the sensor is connected to your smartphone, now click the cog in the bottom right. Okay, I now see three buttons. Yes, so if you click extra measure, um, that's, that will do the instant measurement. And if you click edit, then we can adjust the parameters of the sensor. Also, you can copy the tank settings and share the settings with another smartphone. Um, okay, now let's click the edit button. Okay, now I can see multiple options here. Uh, yes, Brad. So on the top of the screen, you can see the tank name and you can change this to whatever you like. Okay, got it. Next, uh, fluid type. Okay, so the tank has water inside, so let's choose water. Okay, great. And now you can change measurement period. It allows the sensor to monitor the tank with periods from seconds to hours and for ad hoc inspections. Uh, the app can communicate with the sensor and do a real-time monitor at the time of the inspection. Okay, I will choose one hour. Next, now we choose tank material. We have a stainless tank here, so I will choose stainless steel. That's it, now select calibrate and then it will ask for calibration as either full or empty. Our water tank level is below the sensor now, so I will choose empty. And it is calibrating and I can hear it on the tank. That's it. It is now ready to use on your smartphone. Uh, so here, as you can see, the water level is lower than the sensor in the tank. So the app show flashing in red, but if I tilt the tank like this, now the water level is above the sensor. When the sensor next takes a measurement, the status will update. Let's do instant measure now by clicking the cog and select the extra measure button. And I can hear it measuring now. That's it, Brad. Now, as you can see, the red light has turned green which means that the level is above the sensor. Brilliant. Can we program the Gobius fish so it shows the green LED light when the level is above the sensor and a red light when it's below? Let's do that. Click the cog from the monitor screen, then select edit, then scroll down to the sensors section. Okay, now you can see digital output one and two. Select Digital Output 1 and choose Activate Output when level is above the sensor. Okay, now do the same for Digital Output 2, but this time select Activate Output when level is below the sensor. All done. Now, let's see how the Gobius Fish works. As you can see, the Gobius Fish red light is on because the level is below the sensor. But if I tilt the tank like this, the water level is above the sensor. Now, when we do a measurement, there we go. The Gobius Fish LED light turns green. That's fantastic. <laughs> so the functionality in the app and future sensor firmware upgrades can all be monitored remotely with the Bluetooth signal being sent over the internet to your smartphone. So just to recap, can we just look at the wiring to the mains, the connection of the Gobius fish, and see the output signal wiring? 
here are the output wires, green and yellow, and here are the mains inputs, red and black. Thank you, Andrea. I believe in our next segment you will show how multiple sensors can communicate with the app for a single tank or multiple sensors for multiple tanks. <laughs>